Hey guys, Garney here. Thanks for joining me on another Tech Tuesday. And so today's topic is going to be around data lakes. Yes, data lakes. Now, what do I mean by a data lake? Well, when I first heard the term a couple of years ago, I started thinking to myself, hmm, a lake is a reservoir which has a lot of water in it. So a data lake should be a reservoir with a bunch of data. Well, it should, you know what, that's great, but that really doesn't help a lot of people because when you dump everything in one location, now what? So a data lake is really a business term on how you should be able to work with massive amounts of information. But before I dive into that, let me get into some housekeeping items. First and foremost, I'm going to keep this at a high level discussion, really a business talk. Uh, second of all, I work for a company called Informatica, and Informatica is a company that provides enterprise data management software for companies who need data management. So being able to mix my passion for data with a company I work for that's in data, it's a pretty great story. But let me get back to, no, by the way, all of these things are on my own, not scripted by Informatica. I just hope I do them justice. <laughs> so a data lake. So what's a data lake? Well... First, we need to talk about some of the foundational things. First, it's about big data. Now, if you don't know what big data is, I've got a card up above and I got links down below in the description that talks about what is big data. Now, because of the evolution of technologies that are out there around big data, now there's a way, a platform, a concept called data lakes that allow the business, and here it comes, it allows the business to access the data they need when they need it to work with the data that they have access to and then to publish that data. Now, did I say anywhere in there about having to have meetings with IT all the time? No. So here's the key things behind a data lake, which is going to be very powerful for everyone. You know, we know some of the data scientists are very, very smart. They are needed within organizations. We know that there are data developers out there who know how to manipulate and work with data all the time. But here's the thing business folks like you and I, we ask questions. And when we ask questions to the data, wouldn't it be nice to be able to access the data that we need to manipulate, to be able to find it, first of all, to manipulate it, to validate it, and then to use it without having to always go to the IT organizations to make changes or to make requests and things like that? Yeah, you remember in the past where if someone had a spreadsheet you liked, you always just emailed it to them and said, hey, can you send me that spreadsheet? Could you show me what you've done? Uh, or if it's sitting on a database that you've never worked with before, but you were told it's sitting on a database, you actually had to ask IT and then go through security protocols and access protocols to get to the data, much less you may not directly have access to it, but someone else would have to go get it for you, and you would have to, be, you would have to wait for that. And then when you receive the data, it was sometimes in a PDF or in a spreadsheet or in a database table or stuff like that, and you had to work with it to make it your own and even at that you know you couldn't share your work or to once you have your published data sometimes it was just for a single purpose so the days that the business have will have access to the information is coming and data lakes is supposed to provide that promise now i won't call it a promise I, that's a bad term it's supposed to provide that capability uh, because, you know, you still have the company culture and the organizations that you have to work with. But at a high level, a data lake is supposed to provide the business three major concepts. First and foremost, well, it's hard to explain these without having some analogy, right? How about we associate a data lake to a library? Yeah, that's one of the things I came up with this weekend was... How do you explain a data lake to people who know nothing about the concepts of big data and things like that, that everybody understands? A library. Yeah, and specifically, how about the Library of Congress in the United States, which has the largest repository of books and periodicals and things like that that are out there? Yeah, it's amazing. So the three concepts for a library or a data lake should provide you is being able to discover, to search, to find, First is discovery of that. You know, when you walk into a library, you should be able to go up to these terminals or to these portals and just be able to type in the search bar what you're looking for. It could be a genre, it could be a specific author, it could be just on a topic. 
and that in the computer or the research results coming back should give you better understanding of where that is or what that book is all about and you can start sifting through the result sets the more information you have or more questions you ask it the better the refined search results are then it also provides you a map of where that data is or where that book is or that periodical yeah isn't that kind of cool it, it not just tells you about it and you can help refine your searches to a better qualified data set or answer set but you can actually find the book it should also tell you if somebody's already checked it out or if there's another revision or how many revisions of that book are available so being able to be to be able to search and find your data here's another analogy how about shop for your data yeah. <laughs> hey that's another concept how about commercing around your data yeah not monetizing it but really focusing on if you've ever shopped on Amazon and you typed in the word, look, I'm looking for shoes, and you type in shoes. What do you think the result sets are coming back from Amazon? Yeah, uh, basically everything in the world, right, on shoes. Well, if you start typing in shoes, men's, work boots, leather, all of a sudden your result sets are, comes down. Then you start putting in sizes, styles. You want anklets or you want full-length boots? Do you want them laced or buckled? Things like that. You want steel-toed or non-steel-toed? You want them waterproof or non-waterproof? Yeah, those are the kind of things that you can start shopping or searching for your data set so it can start getting smaller and smaller and smaller for specific result sets that you're looking for. That's what discovering your data is all about. Being able to search and find the data that you're looking for. That's what a data lake is supposed to provide you, a way of looking for your information. Lord knows that how many times we've you know, once we found something once before and we can never find it again, that kind of drives me nuts, right? So that's why we hoard all the data. Well, that's not really good. Well, what if there was a reliable place I can always go back to to be able to say I've searched against this data, searched for the data, and I know where it's at? Pretty cool, right? Here's another concept of Data Lake or a Library Congress is supposed to provide you. These huge workspaces to prepare and work with your data. To validate what you're look, working with. Yeah, I mean, if you go to any library, they got these beautiful chairs you can sit and read through the periodicals. Or for me, I get multiple magazines and I lay them out on the table so I can actually you know, look at the information so I can collect my thoughts around them. So that's what a data lake is supposed to provide you, a way of preparing and validating the data that you've received. Every time you receive data, sometimes you send an email to receive an e uh, hey, can you send me that spreadsheet? That's easy. But what happens when you've got that database table I was talking about before? Yeah, you send me that data. Yeah, what if it's in a PDF form that you got to manually cut and paste out of and put it inside a... Yeah, you got to work at it. So a data lake is supposed to give you the tools to be able to prepare your data. Do some business against your information, like transform the data to conform it to whatever you're looking for. And even qualify it. I mean, if somebody misspelled the state of Texas... That would be a bad thing, wouldn't it? But it would actually, but you are able to manipulate the data to say, yeah, this is supposed to be Texas, and you spell it this way. So the data is conform and standardized to you. It's just one example. So now that you've been able to find the data, and now you're able to pro validate and prepare the data and qualify it and so on, what do you do with it next? Yeah, once you have the information you need in the format that you want for the purposes that you want, you want to use that data, that utilization of data. So you want to actually put this in an EDW? Or do you want to actually put it, download it into your own spreadsheet for your own purpose? But here's the key thing. Whatever you do with the data sets outside of the data lake, because the data lake helped you receive, the you find the data, work with the data, and make it to whichever you need, whatever your business is outside of the lake with that data, wouldn't it be cool to be able to share that information? Let me ask you this. Whenever you created a spreadsheet, was there ever a time that was very valuable? Did you ever receive an email or phone call from somebody saying, how did you do that? Where did you get the information? Hey, can I copy that? Yeah, it's kind of neat, right? To be able to share your work. And sometimes people don't even know to ask you to find that information. Well, a data lake is supposed to give you a capability of resharing that information back to the ecosystem. So because the information you created is actual data. And if other people can leverage and manipulate or work with that data that you created and make it their own, wouldn't that be better? I mean, we're all smart. 
I mean, you got the data scientists, the data developers, and now you, the business, and all your peers that can ask the same questions, find the same data sets, maybe enhance the data that you have, maybe even collaborate with that. That's what I meant by utilization. So Data Lake is really focused on three major areas for me. And again, just like a library, being able to find and discover your data sets. Be able to work or util work and prepare and validate that data sets or sets. And then finally, utilize it and then be able to reshare that to the ecosystem. Yeah, wouldn't it be great whenever you search for a particular data set at the very beginning and you find someone else in another department who works similar to what you do, but they work in another group. They do the same thing you do, but they created this data set that you're like, wow, how did you do that? Can I do the same thing with my data? Yeah, that's what a data lake is supposed to provide you. It is the it is the capabilities, the art of the possible for the business to act upon the data itself. That's what we're talking about, guys. That's what the data lake is supposed to provide you. I mean, no matter who you talk to in the world of data lake, you know, the key thing is, do they provide you a level of understanding and discovering your information? Again, shop for your data. Uh, again, what about preparing it, giving you the best ways of manipulating, transforming, qualifying, standardizing the data and validating those things for you without having to go through development cycles that you can actually see the expectations of the data, your expectations of the data as you as you prepare it. And then finally, being able to utilize the information, but at the same time, being able to give this back to the organization, give this back to other groups. Yeah, so that way it becomes a feeding frenzy, a collaborative workflow uh, around your data or the information you have. Heck, you might be able to enhance it further down the road as you gain more information. That's what we're talking about with the data lake. That's why I'm excited about, that's why I mentioned this weekend when I did my Sunday Outlook that it's going to rock our world. Data lakes is going to give the business what they've been asking for years. And the IT, bless their hearts, we, you know, IT organizations do the best they can for the business to try to stay nimble. But it's sometimes very difficult because there's so much information out there with the amount of data that's growing and the amount of resources that they have to consume and the amount of work that the IT department has to meet just to keep an environment up and running for the business. It's gonna be very hard pressed for them to be nimble to do every scenario. So a data lake gives you the business, gives the IT the the chance to build a foundation with governance and control factors and security that they need, but at the same time gives the business, you my friends, the capability of the art of the possible of data. So that's what Data Lake is all about, guys. Discover, prepare, and to utilize the data. Finally. Right? Finally, big data, metadata, and all of these things that you may hear in meetings coming to come to fruition for the purpose of the business. So again, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. You know, hit that like button uh, if you like what I'm doing. And here's a question I have for all of you. You know, what are the topics around data from a business point of view are you asking? Are there any technologies that you're curious about? Uh, have you heard about data lake capabilities or, or things like that? Because I know that many of my friends who've deployed Hadoop technologies, they come up and say, well, what's, ne what's next? You just can't dump everything into a central location and expect every This is not the Field of Dreams, the movie. Yeah, Field of Dreams, the movie, they build it and they will come. <laughs> Kevin Costner, back in the 90s. It's the capabilities that give the business a chance to search, find, prepare, and utilize their information as they see fit. So guys, thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you like what I'm doing here, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm always looking for new friends to join me on this journey. And you know what? Until then, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace.